Welcome to Digital Asset News. My name is Rob. And today, just like the thumbnail and title suggests, there's a pretty good reason for why this rally has sustainability. And really, this was a question that was asked uh, this morning for the NFA live show. Uh, that's me right there. That's Ben from another Cryptoverse and uh, Guy from Coin Bureau. And we talked about how the rally kind of snuck up on us and uh, has been uh, doing pretty good. And it's been pretty sustainable thus far. I mean, I mean, the market cap's over a trillion. Bitcoin's up 2% 24 hours, 12% for the day or for the week. Ethereum, 3%, and so on far down, down the road. And really, I mean, there's a lot of different factors that uh, played into it. But I think one of the biggest ones is addresses by time held. And what I'm talking about, this is a, uh, a metric over at end of the block. Links in the description. You can check us out for yourself. And we're going to see that um, there's three different uh, criteria here. One is called holders or people who have Bitcoin in a specific wallet for a year plus. That could be a year plus a month or two years or three years, but or anything over a year. Cruisers, one to 12 month and traders, of course, just less than a month because they're just in and out, right? Depending on the trader, of course. So if I take a look at this, and of course, this black line is uh, the, the Bitcoin price. We can see that right now we're at a pretty high level for one year plus holders. That's 34.75 million addresses. Cruisers are 10 million addresses or one in 12 months. And traders are 2.65. And if we take a look at this and do what I say is uh, when in doubt, zoom out, and we're going to really get a good picture of this, we can just see that uh, the blue line, which is holders back in 2016, was only 3 million as as, a, as opposed to cruisers of one to 12 months, they had over 4 million. So there was more people who had Bitcoin for one to 12 months or less than we had for the holders of one year plus. Now, fast forward to 2020, you had almost 20 million addresses for one year plus, one to 12 months is 7.5 and traders 2.65. And then today you can see there's a very sharp uptick of the people who are holding on to Bitcoin, 34, like I said, 34 million addresses. And what it comes down to is if we take a look at holders composition by time held, what we just looked at is the highest I've ever seen it. It's 73% of people are holding on for a year or more. And then 22% one twelve, and less than a month is 6%. 6 so what does that mean? That means like people like you who are watching this video who are here in this brutal bear market who have gone through centralized exchange failures, uh, the voyage of the Celsius, the BlockFi, the FTX who have done with uh, countless rug pulls and the different projects that just uh, collapsed, you're still here. And I think the people right now are just like, I don't really care. I don't care what's going on. I don't care the different problems with uh, the different greed and different problems that we have in, in the crypto space. I think I know where things are going. I'm going to hold on to this for a while. And that is part of the reason why we're having such a nice little rally. Anyhow, let me know you think about that in the comments section. But I will say on the flip side of that same coin, this is one of the reasons why we're having problems. And I call it a big time problem. This was an article that was first featured on Fortune. And uh, that's the game big time. And I've heard about this, about how great it's going to be. And it looks awesome. It looks like a pretty good uh, graphically intense NFT based game. And there's going to be a problem. So just to give you a little history, big time, the game itself, it raised $10.3 million from crypto investors, enjoyed a successful test launch, and pulled in millions of profits. Sounds great. Unfortunately, there's this thing called contagion. And there was filings from a bankrupt Genesis, revealed Genesis, we've been talking about this quite some time, that is one of the four subsidiaries of Digital Currency Group, other ones being Coindesk, which is up for sale right now. Also, you've got Grayscale Bitcoin Trust and one of the largest or the largest Bitcoin mining operations on the planet, Foundry. But Genesis, the Chapter 11 documentation, revealed that big time, the game, plowed a large chunk of its capital, not into growth, which what they should have done, but into the high risk crypto lender in hopes of making rewards of 5%. Can you imagine you're trying to get you're taking $20 million, like, that sounds pretty good, but I can get 5% annually, and uh, that shouldn't be too much of a risk, and now it's just locked. So that's what's happening. Anyhow, $20 million is now frozen, making one of Genesis' top creditors. That's not something you want to be on top of or the top place. This is a reckless gamble that could imperil the future of the company, and uh, maybe this will delay or ultimately stop the development of big time. I'm not for sure. I haven't talked to those guys, but it's not good when you have all your operating funds stuck in a chapter 11 company. 
And to give you some background, Ari uh, Milich, nailed it, began developing Decentraland. I think we all know the uh, Decentraland play with Esteban Ordano in 2015. And then this is some information. I'll link the description. You can read it. I almost fell asleep. But this part's the good stuff. So Big Time's founder was not alone among his Decentraland peers in trusting Genesis with their money. So again, $20 million. Co-founder Ordano had $25 million on Genesis through a Panamanian company called Wina Securities. Hopefully they get that back. And current Decentraland CFO Espanda had over $55 million on Genesis through a different company called Heliva International Corporation. And that all that money is going to be tied up. So hopefully those two companies, which I don't even know what they do, can stay afloat. And this is where it's interesting. Decentraland Foundation, the nonprofit that oversees the Metaverse platform, revealed last week that it also had a credit against Genesis of almost $8 million. So not only are you going to see that, DCG Group also happened to be an investor, as well as one of the biggest owners of virtual land. So they're going to have the virtual land, but everything else is, might just be wiped away. With the circular flow of funding, the choice name for Decentraland's Central Square what is going to be Genesis Plaza. I think they'll change that name after this. So again, we've been talking about contagion for quite some time. Will this be a big issue and uh, collapse the market? No, probably won't. Probably just be another blip on the radar. But the question that I have is how much contagion is going to happen? How far do we go down? And this is just one more company. And if there's big companies, like we talked about at NFA, I think we're going to see more problems. But who knows what it could be. Anyhow, let me know what you think about that in the comment section. But there is some, we'll finish up on some pretty good news, which I find fascinating, which is this. Uh, Polygon just overtook Ethereum in daily active users. And you can see right here that uh, daily active users, so <laughs> look at that, near protocol, 83,000. Solana, 136,000, good for them. Ethereum, 320,000. Polygon, 340,000. And BNB chain, 800,000. And I find it interesting that if we take a look at the chains that actually are doing something, have utility, people are using. Okay, so this is, if you take a look at the one month, the three month, and the six month, I just pull this together. Bitcoin is up 36% for the month. Over three months, it's up 10%. Six months, it's down 4%. And over a year, it's down even more than that because, you know, brutal bear market, right? But not too bad. ETH is uh, up 32%, down negative two and negative seven. All right. But look at BNB which we just saw was the highest, plus 25% for the one month. It's down 1% for three months, but it's still up 9% over six months, which is pretty good, quite honestly. XRP, people are using that, <clears throat> plus 11% for six months. Doge, plus 22%. But look at Polygon again, plus 24%, plus 5%, and plus 5 One of the few, I think, if not the only, which is just up over six months. So again, pay attention to the crypto projects that are building in the bear because they will crush it in the bull. And that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. A lot of to talk about are time sensitive. I'm gonna link that video for the NFA Live. That's the one with uh, me, Ben and Guy from Coin Bureau and in the Cryptoverse. And a lot of good discussions about what's happening and things that are going on. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.